particle motion. It is a motion. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Hey, must remember that velocity is the derivative of the position of the particle and that's indicative of the speed at which the particle will be traveling. This can now be constant increase, decrease, it's unraveling. Girl, this right here would be called acceleration. Integrate this two times and then you will get displacement. Don't get too confused when you compare this to the distance. The area under the curve will be there for assistance. Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1 slow. On X versus T, velocity will be the slow. On B versus T, acceleration is the slow. There is no such thing as finding distance with the slow. Make sure to test critical values. For precision, set it equal to zero. Velocity, set it equal to zero. Acceleration, set it equal to zero. Speed up. Same signs. Slow down. Different signs. B pause. Go right. B neg. Go left. Speed up. Same signs. Slow down. Different signs. B pause. Go right. B neg. Setting up an integral is easy, man. man. Take the time from start to finish. Then then draw that squiggly integral. Damn, that's hype. Right, f of x, then anti-derive. Don't you dare forget the d of x. Integral of acceleration is velocity. Integral of velocity will be position. Integral of position isn't in existence. A, direction is changing. A, we are rearranging. A, t finds speed at zero. A, get it, you're a hero. A, we are almost done. A, this is so much fun. A, shout out to Miss Brian. A, she's so damn styling. This that AP cap, that particle, that motion. Hey, watch this video, you will start to shine. Hey, if you get the sun at FRQ, you'll get a nine. Hey, that's that particle motion after all. Speed up, same signs, slow down, different signs. B pause, go right, B neg, go left. Speed up, same signs. Slow down, different signs. B pause, go right, B neg, 